Welcome back. So let's start looking into actually adding a profile uh, image to our actual user profile. So we're going to start adding this guy right here. And the first lesson here, I'm just going to show you the changes I did in the HTML and the CSS to make it look something like this instead of the old view. So let's just start out by having a look here inside the what I show you right now compared to the one on Git version 52. So let's have a look here. It's very simple. I, I added a couple of divs and I changed a few values. So first thing you'll notice is I put in the, the width, of, width of 600 instead of 400 just to get some more space in there to actually have room for the image. You don't even need that. I could go back to 400 just to show you. You can play around with this yourself, of course, but this was how it looked before. Um, let's just load. There we go. I just thought that was kind of pushed a bit together, so that's why I kind of added 600 instead. You can play around with that yourself. The next thing I did was I added a flex layout, column layout to actually start showing like this. So we have the user profile in the top and then we have um, the actual uh, information about the user down here with the image and the user input fields. But to do that we added another div here which is a row layout. So it's you have to think of row layout like we're placing things um, in a row, right? So here we have this guy right here as the first part of the row and this as the second part of the row. So that's why we made a row layout and we said we want to grab all the space available. Then we added the image and the image is pretty much just added as a 128 pixels and then we use this, I think it's very cool, the placeholder IT. If you don't know that you can go and use it for free. It's very simple, placeholder IT and you pretty much just add links like this and then you get just a basic image popping up showing that you can add something here. There are other avatar image placeholders out there. Go and Google it if you want to. I just use this one. It's very simple and now you have something to display, right? So now I have this placeholder image available for me. And the last thing I did was pretty much just add another flex layout for the column layout so that I can start adding these guys down here. That was all I had to do. Now I'm pretty much done. That was how the layout looks. But there's one more thing because notice the image is round here, but it's actually squared here. Very basic CSS guys, but let me just show it anyway. So if I just shut this down, that was the changes for the actual HTML part. Now the changes for the CSS. I just added a profile image with a border radius of 50, a margin and a max min height of 128 pixels. That was it. And now what, it, what the last thing you have to know is I actually added the class now to the image to make that CSS actually run so that we can show a proper image here. Pretty basic stuff and now we actually are up and running with uh, some kind of image placement here so we can start looking at an image for our user profile. See you in the next lesson where we will start building buttons and, and maybe get a real image in there. Have fun.